All right, so uh, there, that does it for the world of sports. Hopefully, we'll have much time later on in the second hour, guys. Well, let's take a look at the Super Eagles' new appointee and the reason why he left his former position or his former job and came to Nigeria. Well, it says it's due to salary. Well, let's hope uh, uh, he wouldn't run away this time as well due to salary, knowing what has happened to uh, the previous one. Back to you guys. That's all from sports. Very much, Joe. Looking forward to, you know, seeing the Super Eagles really, really improve in their form and uh, the quality of football that they're able to give to, you know, uh, the country and the African continent. Absolutely. So well, thanks once again. All right, uh, we'll move away from uh, sports now. Let's see what we can find in Zambia and other stories in the news. In the next step of the New Dawn government's uh, promise to ensure the economic prosperity of Zambia, Angola, uh, Angola America, I beg your pardon, Angola America, I beg your pardon, has announced that it will take majority control of its Zambia Copper Cobalt Exploration License. The announcement uh, reflects a huge opportunity for the Zambian private investment as it will be the first investment by Anglo in Zambia in over 20 years. And joining us uh, live from Zambia is the Green Party President, Peter Sinkamba. Uh, good morning, thanks for joining us, Mr. Sinkamba. Good morning and thank you to have me on your program this morning. Great to have you. Uh, let's start with, you know, getting your view on rumors that the Zambian government wants to bring Anglo-American to run some of the country's cobalt and uh, copper mines. Well, it's shocking that uh, the Zambian government can even start lowering Anglo. Because you recall that uh, Anglo started doing their business here in Zambia uh, way back in, uh, in the 1930s when they bought off uh, some shares at the Kabwe mine, uh, a lead mining uh, operation in Kabwe, uh, the central province. And uh, from that was the beginning of Anglo uh, embarking on mining investment uh, until they decided to run away, uh, to run away from Zambia in 2002, when they wanted to close up the same operation the, where we have Concola Copper Mines today. Uh, and uh, when they didn't even in, engage government uh, when they were announcing that they were leaving. Uh, and the late president, Wanawasa, uh, was insulted by Anglo when he tried to convince them to get back. But because now they've heard that uh, there is now cobalt, which is going to be a big thing in the world uh, in terms of electric cars, and uh, also copper, copper is now fetching... Uh, uh, of unprecedented amounts, over $10,000 per ton, and is projected to get to about $30,000 uh, $30, per ton, maybe in, in the next 20 years, they decided to come back in another fashion. So for, for me, as a person who pursued Anglo uh, uh, 20 years ago uh, to, to try and recover the money which they refused to pay government as exit the fees, uh, that time, $30 billion as exit uh, amount. I, I feel so disgusted that Anglo today can even come, want to come and back to Zambia, want to come and participate in the mining operation. It's really sad that they can do that. Okay, uh, you've spoken about how you feel about this, and understandably so. But setting aside personal sentiments, would you say that um, the country, you know, if we look at what the country needs, would you say that the country needs Anglo-America? Is it um, a better company or a better option than Vendata? It's not a better company. Actually, it's a, it's a bad corporate company. You know, in Kabwe, where I told you that they were doing mining uh, from the 1930s until 1994 when the mine was closed, there is a huge problem of lead poisoning there. Children are actually seriously affected. In fact, Kawe is regarded as one of the 10 worst polluted uh, mine sites in the world, with the children having suffered so much, generation after generation, and they've refused to compensate those children up to now. What is good about it? What is good about Anglo is they can refuse to take responsibility for their mess, especially environmental pollution, as it were. They mined there for 70 years, and then they couldn't actually uh, take over responsibility. Up to now, there are matters in court in South Africa, where the, 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 uh, the local populations in Kawe have sued Anglo to try and get them to be responsible and pay for the damage. What is good about that? Uh, so really, they are coming. It's not about to come and be a good corporate uh, citizen. No. 
It's, it's for them to come and make money out of Zambia because they've heard that now electric cars, there will be, there will be cobalt which will be required. Uh, copper also is going to is, is fetching good money. That's why they are coming back, not because they are good investor, and that's why they're coming in in the different shades. They don't want to come direct because they insulted this country and they insulted the leadership of this country. And they, they, they have serious problems in Kawe right now for pollution, which is which has affected the, uh, hundreds of thousands of children who have who have been incapacitated mentally because of lead poisoning. What right. is good about that? All right, I, I just want you to quickly also share on how you feel the Zambian government can. Uh, you know, give more um, support to indigenous mining companies, you know, and, and have the uh, Zambian companies themselves, you know, benefit more from the, the copper and cobalt? Well, uh, I think this concept of wanting to bring in foreigners is always been a problem. Uh, myself and a team of uh, our colleagues, Zambian citizens, have offered to buy off one of the mines, Mopani Copper Mines, uh, the, the next biggest mine after KCM before the first quantum. Uh, and uh, we hope government is going to give us uh, the same kind of uh, spirit because we formed the consortium and uh, we have uh, expressed our interest to government. And we hope when we start running things to get the monies on the table and to get the assets, they will not give preference to foreigners. Because you see, uh, the current government is talking about, no, you see, we have given you a black mountain. There's some old uh, mine dump where people are claiming uh, uh, copper and other ores from one of the operations of the 1930s, 1940s. But that is not the kind of mining we're talking about. We want to invest in the uh, direct operations like KCM, like uh, Mopani Copper Mines, and any other mines that uh, uh, these foreign investors are coming in to come and say they are going to invest. Because, you see, when they come in, they are given these incentives. And if the same incentives are extended to the uh, local populations, to the local entrepreneurs, we should be able to deliver. After all, Zambia has got a huge resource of okay. workers that are experienced. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter Sikamba, for explaining to us you know, your position on the Anglo-American uh, company and so far how Zambia is doing as regards copper. Thank you very much for joining us. You're most welcome and thank you for having me.